All right. Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Let's go ahead and hop into this thing right away. Today we're gonna to be teaching you how to create a 3D logo with a little bit of a special technique that I literally just came up with on the fly. So if you guys have seen my more recent videos, you know that I've been messing with the displacement modifier. Absolutely love the displacement modifier. So right here you guys can see that we have the Discord logo. I'm just gonna show you that this works with pretty much any logo, um, maybe not that one. Usually it works best with PNGs, but if you guys go ahead and swap this out for like I don't know, Blender, I think I use this one. Yeah, there we go. So you're gonna have to get the scaling proper, but as you guys can see, we now have a vic like pixelated voxel version of this logo, and with our modifiers, we can actually adjust it as needed. Now, don't go too low with that value. You obviously are gonna get some pixelated look here, but if this is what you're going for, this is the tutorial for you. Again, let me show you one more example here. Um, here you go, 3M logo, perfect. Boom, just like that, we just drop the image in that we want to turn into a 3D logo, and it has been turned into a 3D logo. All right, so let me show you guys how this is actually done. I'm gonna keep this here. The basics of it are you add in a plane. I'm just gonna move this plane up above our other logo, and I'm gonna hide the other logo. I'm gonna scale this up twice, uh, just S2 for that, tab into edit mode, subdivide. I'm just gonna like subdivide this like 50 times. That should be fine. We can come back to that later. Go to your modifiers tab guys and you're going to want to add a displacement modifier so go ahead and add a displacement modifier click on new go down here to this little tab which is our texture tab and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select your image so let me just go to my random images folder and i think i'm going to do how about we do discord again just to show you how this works so as you guys can see we already have this impression of our discord logo which is great but it's not quite there yet. So let's go ahead and add a subdivision surface to this. I'm also going to choose the strength going the other way, like this, okay? I'm gonna scale this out on the X to make it match our logo as closely as possible. And then I'm going to add the remesh modifier. I'm gonna choose blocks as my type. And I'm just gonna up this value which says octree depth. And as you guys can see, we have a 3D logo, just like that. Now. This is a voxelated or pixelated logo, which looks great, but we can experiment with other types of uh, remesh modifiers. As you guys can see, we can do a smoother modifier, right? And as you increase these subdivisions in your modifiers on the right, you can see that we can get pretty darn close to the way this should look, right? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and drop these values down for a second because I wanna show you that if you actually tab back into edit mode and you subdivide this again, you'll notice how the quality has gone up. Right? And if I do this one more time, you can see the quality is almost in indistinguishable um, from the actual logo. And the higher you go, the better this is gonna look. I'm also going to shade this smooth and I'm gonna raise this subdivision one more time. And then I'm gonna raise my octree depth for the, for the remesh. As you guys can see, we have a pretty good logo from just an image. Let's go ahead and swap this out for another image and see how well it works. Um, you guys already know I'm gonna try blender. So let's go ahead and try the blender logo give this a second to load and That looks pretty good again if you want to get the exact size of the of the image here um, You're gonna have to import the image as planes So you would go to add image image as planes and that will give you the exact dimensions of your image And then you can add your subdivisions and your displacement so that's how you get everything to line up properly, but Make sure you have that enabled in your preferences. It's an add-on, so just type in image, image as planes, and you're gonna go ahead and check mark this top one right here. So just like that, guys, you can create a 3D logo pretty easily. Again, it's not gonna be perfect, but the higher quality your logo is, the better it's going to look. Let's try, I'm curious if it would be able to do the Photoshop logo, so let's go ahead and try that. All right, so as you guys can see, we're missing the S here, and the reason for that is because you need to uncheck remove disconnected, and you should be good. Now you're gonna get a few artifacts on the side um, and that's because of just the way the remesh works. So if that happens, you can just apply all your modifiers and you can go ahead and just, um, just delete those other extra pieces. But just like that guys, again, this is reversed but you could flip this entire thing around. It's really easy to just swap out this image texture and easily get a logo like very quickly here. Um, let's try a couple of other ones. Um, this should also work for things that aren't really logos. Like it might work for this shoe here. We could we could try it and just see what happens. Um, as you guys can see, it kind of works. It's not perfect, but um, we kind of have that outline of the shoe. Let's just try it with a color, couple other of uh, types of images here. I'm gonna scroll down. 
probably would work with the smiley face. Again, the, the stronger the contrast is in the image, the better it's going to come out. Like this maze right here should work pretty well. Let's let's see how this comes out. And just like that, we have a 3D maze based on an image. Um, and because we're using displacement, um, you can very, very easily create things. I mean, it's just, like I said, guys, it's getting easier and easier to create things. The more techniques you know, the faster you'll be able to create. Just keep in mind when you're when you're adding all these modifiers, it is going to slow your computer down. So just if it crashes, like don't be surprised. That's just like honestly going to happen probably. Let's go ahead and search for another image type here. That's Blender logo. Uh, let's see. Oh, this this could be interesting. Hold on. We have some space logos. What else do we have here? Oh, oh, this one. This one looks cool. All right, let's try this one. Uh, again, you're gonna get different results depending on what you do. Um, let me try the blocks instead. Instead of smooth, I'll go back to blocks, and we'll lower this value. Oops. Yeah, we're just gonna lower that value a little bit. Cool. Again, even if you just want to create a quick landscape image, like we did before in the previous tutorial, you should be able to do that as well. So let's go ahead and try something really, really simple. We'll try this 3M logo again, see what we get. Again, there's your 3M logo in 3D form. Um, I could try images all day for you guys. It should also work with like textured images, like things that are just, they seem simple, but they're actually not. Like, like this warped image here with this like ocean looking thing like I'm very curious to see how that will come out interesting so yeah I mean like I said if you're one if you want to quickly generate some really cool looking things this is how you would go about doing it let's try a few more uh, <laughs> this is the Houdini logo I wonder how that will come out not too bad um, again it's gonna take some cleanup you can probably cut the bottom of that off with like a boolean modifier but it doesn't look that bad guys I'm actually quite impressed with how well this works patreon logo so yeah, we're gonna have to up that value of that um, uh, remesh modifier. But again, uh, let's try another one. Let's see what else we have. <laughs> this one says, do what you love. That could be interesting. Again, I, I just love seeing the results. Oh, here's the Instagram logo. Let's see what that looks like. That didn't come out too bad. Again, it's, it's kind of hit or miss, depending on the, the quality of the image. Like if you were to take that Instagram logo, raise the contrast, in like Photoshop, make it black and white and cut out the logo perfectly, um, you'd have pretty much a perfect rendition of this in Blender. Again, the quality of the image is going to drastically change what your result is gonna look like. Um, this is just a circle. Let's, let's see what that looks like. Interesting. Again, different results depending on your image. But that looks kind of cool. I don't know. You could you could use this for something, you know? This is a really quick way to like make objects in Blender. Honestly, this this could be a whole separate tutorial on just like making objects. Interesting. That's the Google SketchUp logo. <laughs> uh, all right, last one I'll try. We'll do the smiley face. Where was the smiley face? Yeah, let's try that. Kind of works. It's in reverse. You guys can see the smiley face right here. But it is there. Let me try, let me try the smooth modifier instead. Oh, that is just horrifying. So there's your nightmare fuel. Um, if you guys wanted to have nightmares tonight, there you go. Um, <laughs> just swap this out for something else. Uh, what else do we have? I mean, I pretty much just tried like everything I could think of, guys. Um, I have, I literally have just so many images in this folder like that I could test, but oh, this is is this the Chat GPT or is this OpenAI? Is that the same thing? I forget. Anyway, there you go. There's your OpenAI logo. Um, and then of course, if we go to our top-down view be a little smoother here let's go ahead and add in one more count for that remesh that looks pretty good so yeah guys that's pretty much how you would make a logo in 3d um, now again this isn't perfect it's not gonna work for every logo um, you're more than likely better off just creating it from scratch I just wanted to show you guys kind of how well this displacement modifier works it works pretty darn good pretty darn good guys all right that's the tutorial um i'm kind of glad we went over that um so what i'm going to do now is since the tutorial is like over i'm going to continue it real quick by just uh dropping that discord logo back in here um i'm actually going to just make a quick render of the discord logo but i'm going to do it in voxel format or sorry block format uh let's see we'll do five for the voxel or the pixel count maybe actually you know we'll do we'll do six 
All right, that looks fine. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do like 0.2 for the displacement. That looks fine. And I say we just take this and make a quick little fun render out of it. Um, let's go ahead and snap to our camera. Bring this up, RX90. I'm just gonna set this up for Instagram portrait because I think that that should be fine. I'm gonna zoom in here. I am going to add an environment texture in just for some easy lighting. That's like my, literally my favorite way to set up lighting in Blender is an environment texture. I'm gonna go over to cycles, GPU, add in a mesh plane, scale it up for the floor. I'm gonna make the floor a darker kind of like purpley color like that. And then I'm gonna make the Discord logo. Oh my gosh, what color is the actual logo? It's like purple, right? I'm sure it's purple. Of course, now I can't find the logo. Oh, was that it? No, 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 no. It's in here somewhere. Oh wait, I'm stupid. Let me go to the texture tab. All right, so it, actually, okay, the Discord logo is white. Wait, oh no, it is, is it white or purple? I guess the background's purple. Let me try to match this purple a little bit better here. Is that better? I feel like that's, is that a little bit closer? No, it's not closer at all. It's more of a blue purple. Okay, so let me go more towards blue. How's that look? Maybe even lighter? Cool, and then I'll just lower that roughness value, kind of have a nice little soft look like that. And then I think I'm gonna do an orthographic perspective because I just think that is really fitting. Cool, and then for our actual logo, I might just give this like a metallic shader. Um, now, I'm gonna actually apply all of our modifiers here. So let me go ahead and apply those. Fantastic. Uh, let me just tab into edit mode. As you guys can see, the geometry is very simple now. So I'm going to, uh, how about we do, we could try glass. Let me just see what metallic would look like. I'm curious. Yeah, so metallic's gonna look kind of weird. So let me, let me just try glass. We could try like a, like a diffused glass kind of look. Whoa, that's kind of fun. Again, maybe maybe we'll just go with like plain white. I don't know, I guess that's fine too. <laughs> it's kind of fun and simple. You know what else I was thinking we could add to this, guys? Do you guys remember in the last one how we did a voxel or like a pixelated um, subdivision for this? Or like a landscape? Hold on, let me get back to the landscape here. I think it was, was it this one? Oh God, oh gosh, it's crashing here. We're gonna go back and just grab that real quick. I'm gonna grab this whole thing. I'm gonna go copy. Let's see it. Let's see if it can actually, if it can paste this, I'll be pretty darn impressed. I'm gonna paste it. Let's give it a hot second to load that up. And if this works, this will be fantastic. Okay, cool. It did work. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this down here. I am going to enable rendered mode. And then I'm also, gonna, I'm just gonna make this purple. So instead of our base color being that, I'm gonna make it something that's like purpley, purpley kind of vibe. Do I have a purple image? Please tell me I do. If I don't, I will figure something out. Okay, here we go, we got some purple images right here. Let me try this. That's interesting, but I think I'm looking for something that's more like solid purple. Ooh, this is a good purple. Ooh, that's perfect. All right, so we'll go with that. Um, and then I'm gonna go and enable my depth of field as usual, and I'm gonna select my Discord logo, and I'm gonna do like, I don't know, F5 maybe. And then I'm gonna bring this up so that it's really, really close to our logo. That looks decent there. And then I'm just going to take my camera and I'm gonna go ahead and narrow in on my view here so I can like really, really see what's going on. And then I'm gonna move this up. And then this is the point where you can kind of like rotate this however you want. I actually think it's kind of nice the way it is and I actually don't mind the shader. It's definitely not perfect. Um, now orthographic view might have to like shift our perspective a little bit here. And then I'm gonna just rotate this a little bit here, figure out what kind of vibe I want with this. It's interesting because you can kind of decide like where you want this thing to be sitting. Well, that's fun. There's literally like Blender, you can do anything you want in Blender. Like there's no limits. Your limit is literally what you can think about. That's it. That's, that's literally it. And I love, love when I get haters. I absolutely love it. Just so all you haters out there, just so you know, I love you. Like I love you guys so much because you make my job so much more fun. All right, let's actually just raise the, I wanna raise the contrast. So I'm gonna go to look and go to, I'm just gonna do like medium contrast. Okay, maybe I'll do high contrast. 
I think that looks pretty damn solid. What do you guys think? I'm pretty happy with that. I think we have a nice pixelated logo there. Maybe scaled in a little bit. And then, I mean, our camera's focused on this. The only other thing I could possibly think of is to make an actual material for this. But again, if we go with the metallic, it's gonna kind of ruin that white type of like vibe we have going with this thing. You could try a glossy BSDF with low roughness. Again, you're not gonna get that white feeling. So I'm gonna go ahead and back that up there. I, I think that's perfect. I mean, I don't know. I, I just, I think it's perfect. And if you guys wanted to, you could do another remesh on that, but I, I'm pretty darn happy with this. So that is it, guys. That is pretty much the tutorial. Other than that, I'm gonna center everything. I'm gonna turn off my grid floor, my axes, and my 3D cursor and text info, as well as extra info. And these are just my overlays. I don't like having overlays in my viewport, so I try to turn those off. But I think this looks good, I don't know. Um, at this point, I would I would render this. So let's go ahead to render settings. 150 samples should be fine. And we'll do optics. Um, and then we will do, oh, light paths. Let's just do like 10 for everything, that's fine. We'll do 10 for everything. Should be plenty. And let's go ahead and click F12 and render. I can't wait to read the comments on this video. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, the render is almost done. So, yeah, that was it, guys. That was the tutorial on how to create a pixelated logo. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will definitely be using this for the thumbnail. I just have to adjust a few settings, but came out pretty good. Um, I'm very happy with it. I hope you guys are. I hope you learned something. I hope this was, like, exciting and fun. And um, that's pretty much it, guys. I will talk to you in the next tutorial. Definitely check out the Discord and definitely check out Patreon, Gumroad. All links will be in the description below. Follow me on Instagram for updates. Um, and have a great day, guys. I will see you later.